Bahram Rajabzade. Bahram Razavjade. His record is not a misprint, Joe. He's only lost once in his career, and it came against one of Glory's best fighters. Yeah, it was uh, Sergei Maslaboyev, one of the top contenders, you know, in the light heavyweight division. But Razab Jade is all about power. He wants to come in, throw some kicks, try to take you out. But he's known for his power, and fearlessness is one of his main keys. He doesn't think he, he does not think he's going to have much trouble with Luis Tavares. His li English is limited. But we said, what are you going to do in this fight? He goes, knock him out. Yeah, simple. That's his game plan. He ran his current win streak to five with a unanimous decision at Glory 78 in Rotterdam. Please welcome Luis Tavares. Luis Tavares was supposed to compete in that four-man, one-night heavyweight tournament that was won by Cookie Asaro, but a last-minute injury prevented him from being in it. Yeah, so now he's returning here tonight, and he's got a big fight here ahead of him. I mean, Tavares is an experienced Glory veteran. We saw him originally at Glory 9 in New York, and here he is again, now as a heavyweight for the first time in Glory. He has fought outside of Glory as a heavyweight, and he even has a win over Jafar Wilness as a heavyweight. He's, you know, he's got that frame where he can still move well, kick well. I saw him hitting pads during fight week. He looks sharp. Well, he should have a speed advantage considering he's moving up in weight, and we know he was pretty fast as a light heavyweight. Yeah, I mean, Rajab Zade is a light heavyweight as well. That's when we saw him against Maslaboyev. So they're both light heavyweights moving up to heavyweight. So I still think we're going to see bigger power now. The bigger you are, the more weight you have. So I'm going to see some big heavy exchanges. A lifelong Feyenoord fan, and you know he's on cloud nine after the season they've had, especially against the rival Ajax of Amsterdam. I know our good friend Dennis Corman might be watching right now, so our apologies. The number one Ajax fan in the world. In fact, Luis Tavares had some success as a footballer at a young age, kind of had a career path, then he thought he could play at the top tier level. It was more fun knocking people out. Here's our Unibet tail of the tape. Heavyweight division, Luis Tavares, 63 and eight, ladies and gentlemen, taking on Bahram Azabjade, who's only lost once, 57 and one, both men 31 years old. Tavares two inches taller with a three inch reach advantage. With the professional experience, the edge going to Tavares, but like we said, Azabjade only has one loss but this is only his second glory fight where we know Tavares has been here and he's a veteran, so that's got to give him a big edge. All right, now my keys to glory for this fantastic fight for Tavares. He's got to use his distance control and timing. He's got these sharp eyes. He's got to kind of use angles, mix his levels, and he's a great kicker, so I want to see him mix his kicks with his boxing. For Rajat Zadeh, he's all about forward pressure. He can't just start swinging. He needs to set up that power, and his kick fighting needs to come into play. He needs to chop the legs and mix levels with him. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this battle of the heavyweights is scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, he is the 2017 Waco World Champion from the Middle Asian circuit. As a professional, 61 wins with just one career loss, and 55 of those wins have come by way of knockout. At six feet, one inch tall, 1.86 meters, he went in at 224.6 pounds, 101.9 kilograms. He fights tonight at a Baku, Azerbaijan. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Bahram, the Golden Wolf, Rajab Zadeh. Here now is his opponent fighting out of the white corner, a two-division European champion who will make his glory heavyweight debut
tonight. His record, 63 wins with eight losses, 21 of those wins coming by way of knockout. He stands six feet three inches tall, 1.92 meters, and he weighed in at fight time at 239.6 pounds, 108.7 kilos. He's here in Essen tonight, fighting out of Rotterdam, the Netherlands. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Lou Free in charge of this bout is Edward Stryker. Okay, guys, listen, we're fighting three rounds of three minutes. There is no standing eight count. Yes, listen, always do my comments. Yeah, protect yourself at all times. Any questions? No questions. I saw him short on the record earlier. I said he was 57 and one. He's 61 and one. 61 and one, yeah, 55 knockouts. When it gets Judge. that high, you lose Judge. track. <laughs> Judge. But he's in for a Time. big test Let's tonight move. as Luis Fight. Tavares fights as a heavyweight for the first time in glory. Razab Jade in the green trunks, Tavares in the black. Could have an instant explosion here between these two. That's why you see Tavares using his timing, his sharp. Oh, what a high kick! My word, Razab Jade nearly Ooh. put him down. Look at that explosive power. That's where Tavares needs to be sharp. Ooh. Talked about the quickness of, of Tavares. Rajab Zadeh, lightning fast. Ooh. Ooh. These exchanges, they got me on my seat. Man, this may not last long, especially when Tavares starts throwing back. The key for Tavares would be just stay defensive a little bit longer. He can't open up against a, a crazy power striker like this. Boy, Raza Jada looking like Ooh. a world beater so far. That quick power and counter is just impressive right now. Tavares needs to weather the storm a bit. I got an idea. How about we put Uku against the winner of this fight. Winner goes to the Grand Prix. There you go. Todd Grisham's contender tournament. Hey, it's fun to think about this stuff. I'm sure our fans at home are doing the same thing as Rajab Jade throws a knee. Of course, there's two wild card spots that yeah. can throw in anybody they want. <laughs> Looking at the end of December. Calf kick for Tavares. And we'll see a Grand Prix qualifier coming up next. But plenty of action still to come in this one. And the head kick sends oh. him down. Two. That Three. was powerful. Through the guard, Four, I think Tavares' guard five, was still up. Six, seven, eight, nine. Standing, ten. It's over! It's over! And how about that yeah. for Baram Rajab Shahi? He called this shot, he said it. A lot of people didn't expect it, but he knew something that we didn't. Tavares doesn't know what hit him, but it was the golden wolf from Azerbaijan. 62 wins, only one loss, and that was his 56th knockout. What impressive power, good speed. Wow. We thought Razab Jade might win this fight, but not like that. No, I mean, the way he came out, look at that speed, the power, the confidence. I mean, he just came in knowing that this was gonna happen. He wasn't intimidated, just came in there and blasted away. He showed him the head kick early in the round and then got him again late. Oh, look, that's even through the guard. That's how much power he has. Tavares' hands were still up, but was able to still knock him out. And imagine if this was the eight-man Grand Prix and Raju Jade gets a first-round knockout, doesn't break a sweat, he'd be set up perfectly for the final four. Yeah, there you go. I mean, just that's the style. Perfect tournament-style fighter if you're going to come up blasting with speed and power like that. Incredible KO ratio, 56 knockouts and 62 wins. Since his last glory fight, he won the World Games in the United States and went 4-0 in pro fights. I mean, this guy is a fighting machine. Yeah, he's definitely lived up to that, that the name and the, the power. I mean, a lot of people say they're gonna come and knock you out, but man, that was impressive. 
31 years old. Azerbaijan may be part of that next generation of glory. We saw Kwasi, Chico Kwasi earlier. We saw Enrico Keel. Some upsets tonight. Joe promised us some earlier, and we are seeing them. Rajab Jade with a head kick to beat Luis Tavares. Keep in mind, Tavares has 71 pro fights himself. That's only his ninth loss. You can see the faces on the trainers. They just can't believe what happened. as it happened this one comes to an end with an official time of one minute 57 seconds of that very first round and ends by knockout for your winner Bahram Rajab Zadi all right I'm here with your winner Bahram Rajab Zadi you got to give me your thoughts on that, man. You came out, you knew you were going to get the knockout, and you got it. How are you feeling? Abi, ilk rounddan nakavta aldın. Kendini nasıl hissediyorsun? Wassalamu alaikum. Kendimi çok iyi hissediyordum. Maç böyle de olmalıydı. Biz Azerbaycanlıyız. Azerbaycan Türkçü böyle de olmalıydı. Daha fazla bile sordu. Ich fühle mich sehr gut. Das ist die Power von einem Azerbaijaner und es hätte auch besser werden können. All right, we're going to take a look at some of your action here. It was fast, it was quick, it was powerful, very impressive. Take me through what was happening. Again, please. Take me through how you were feeling, what happened here, what was going on in your mind. I didn't think Ben e, bunlar için düşünmüyorum ya. Ben daha büyük kemeri falan düşünüyorum. Bunlar benim için daha çerez gibi bir şey. Ich denke nicht viel nach über diese Situation. Ich habe das getan, was getan werden musste. Meine Ziele sind viel weiter oben. I did what I can. This was my best try. And my uh, targets are much higher than this. All right, well, you did a great job, and we look forward to seeing you again. Let's hear it for your winner, Bahram Rajab.